If you're watching this video right now, you probably have thought of doing a part-time software engineering degree, courses, or bootcamp even, right? But you also have the dilemma that whether a part-time software engineering course is actually worth the time, effort, and most importantly, the money. So in this video, I'm going to share my experience over the past two years. I've been doing a part-time software engineering degree, how it's actually helped in my career so that I will split this video into four sections. So the first one, we'll talk about the freedom of doing a part-time learning. The second one, we'll talk about how the career transitioning. And the third one is about the lifelong learning. And then finally, it's about how you get started learning or software engineering learning. Uh, bootcamps and courses. Let's dive into the first section, freedom of a part-time learning. First section is mainly about the flexibilities of it. And I think that part-time degree is actually designed that they knows that you already have a full-time commitment in your day job. And then they mostly just get you to do some learning during the evenings, probably just spend 20 hours per week doing some learnings and then probably 30s if you want to push your weekends into it. Obviously, not all of the part-time learning is the same. They don't force you to do evening. For my, my part-time software engineering degrees in Oxford actually require myself to be physically in the school. But then after that, you've got six weeks to actually do your assignments up there. So all of the courses courses are different but all of them the main point is they are designed around you so that you have the flexibilities that when you want to learn it how you want to do it most importantly is that you are comfortable doing it the second point of it is the accessibility of it i think as long as you have a laptop and the internet you you pretty much can start to do any of the part-time bootcamp majority of them actually interactive learning session as well where they give you exercise and then it's actually quite challenging that you have to come up with your own solution to kind of do the coding whether in actually in python in golang whatever it's that but ultimately it's that you have the accessibilities nowadays as long as you have the internet again with your laptop you can actually do coding on your free time anywhere you like this is the part of the freedom of a part-time learning so if you're doing a full-time majority of the time you actually have to be physically on site, although ironically, my part-time software engineer, software engineering course required myself to be on site myself. But I think the idea is that we do, we take away an assignment after you had a week of lessons. But ultimately, you get the point. Freedom of part-time learning is designed around yourself. You always have the freedom to learn it. So the second one is actually quite important as well. It's actually about the career transformation and growth. And I think especially if you are already in a retail and you want to jump into a software engineering career, things that kind of difficult to, to actually jump into it, especially if you want to pay a full-time university courses to do that, you would have to enroll yourself. It takes time. It takes three years, four years. And then when you think about it, you just give up automatically because it just takes too much. You can actually start small. You can take a part-time software engineering bootcamp course. A lot of websites are offering that. And I can probably show you, like, show you some of the example after I finish recording because I haven't actually got that example now with me. But having say so, it's actually... I think you, you know that industry has been booming about 20 years ago even and nowadays all the billionaires are mostly made from tech. Everyone knows about it and everyone wants to jump into tech. At the same time, I also want to share a bit of my story as well. I am a high school dropout and I didn't actually have a good education background and all that. But I'm very fortunate that my family actually sent me over to the UK to study at computing. And computing is the module I picked up because I don't have any other advantages back then because I only know how to do gaming in Warcraft 3, Dota's, and map stories and things like that. So I thought I would be personally good in computing. So I'll pick it up do it naively and I wasn't actually jump straight to the coding either so I started with it with ICT kind of like fixing laptops and all that then after that I kind of dwelled into JavaScript programming get into DevOps and after that 10 years later I'm making six figures in the UK which is pretty good salary not the top of the top but it's still a good salary I think through a part-time software engineering courses it's not just learning about software engineering as well. Some of the people that already have the basics of computer science and you're just thinking, mm, can I actually learn more about Golang or Python or even like that? The answer is yes, actually. If you're taking, there's no point doing a full-time degree. Again, if you've already had basics of it, 
basic of computer science. Possibly you just want to train yourself up in certain technologies. You want to do infrastructure as a code, or you want to do in-depth go long or rust even. Then you can just pick up courses, demos, anywhere like that, and pick it up and learn it. And this is benefit of it. That's literally covered career transformation and growth. Learning part-time, having that flexibility of it without any stress of it will actually propel your career. And the third one is actually lifelong learning and the community around it. I think in all the employees, should actually encourage people to have more learning, but not particularly outside of work hours because you want to have a work-life balance, but rather you stay curious of new technology. Always stay curious with the brand new technologies that actually will bring value to your business, things like that. Having that ideas around it actually will be seen by employers that are one of those who actually keep learning, keep motivated, and then keep yourself fresh, which bring absolute value to your company. In reality, employer actually knows about it, especially if you have a manager that actually takes care of you. And he knows that you're actually doing a lot of effort to learn this, contribute to your business and things like that. Most importantly, again, is that you never finish learning technology stuff, right? You always have something brand new coming out. How do you actually keep yourself fresh and learn it? That's basically doing a part-time learning will actually propel you even further and prove that you actually keep your continuous learning all the time, especially in the tech industry. Even though you move to management, right? You still have to keep yourself fresh because I've seen so many management or manager that thinking they're managing tech. They don't need to know a lot more tech, but unfortunately in this time of the years, even manager would need to have at least at least 20% of hands on knowing what's the tech that should bring benefit of it so that they can get budget, hire the right person to do it. And this is all chain related, definitely. And lastly is the community, right? Having that part-time learning, you learn a new bit and then you actually unlock a new community. For example, if you have a new, say a new open source software that you you very keen to learn and then you learn it and then you knew some of the people actually use it, that's opened the door to other communities where then you actually know more about people, line-minded people, and then that actually encourages you to even learn further. Loads of people I met, you know, not just wanted to do a part-time software engineering degree or a full-time one. Even those, especially those who join my Discord channel that talks about my part-time software engineering degree. By the way, it's kind of segues here. Welcome to you guys if you want to join it. It's all about part-time software engineering course. If, you, if you're interested in it, just join our Discord and talk about it. That's the same way about it. Anyway, there's loads of people talk about it. Even in our Discord channel, they actually ask questions like, you know, how's the part-time learnings like? How's it going to affect my full time? And is that any benefit around it? Frankly, for the for the last probably seven minutes, I've been rambling about talking. What's the benefit of doing the part-time software engineering course? Benefit of that is really just get started. Nowadays, it's quite cheap you really to start a part-time software engineering course you you lose nothing if you if you're brand new into this software engineering career industries and everything like that you obviously start from a thing called cs 50s where you actually kind of understand what's what's computer science around it but you already knew what's coding cloud as infrastructures and you just want to get started and learn it so that you can propel your career Get more salary if you're actually interested just leave your comments down below i will actually leave some of my recommendations and you know we can just share our comments around it but the last one of this video is genuinely i just met quite a lot of people stuck in the same loop asking the same question over and over again why don't you just start yourself and again it doesn't take you can start even with the udemy course errors even which give you a certificate of it start one of them the, the one that interests you the most or even I just thought about it now, free code cam, which is one of the most famous one. Free, you can learn React, JavaScript right from the start. You can have, even build a really um, amazing portfolio, impress your future employees and all that. But those actually just open up the gate, what I just mentioned for the last 10 minutes or seven minutes even. So the whole point is that part-time learning in software engineering is actually the future. So the conclusion is I've learned some of the skills that will propel my career even further. That is the management skills and the time management skills that I've learned around how I with this humongous master's degree, part-time master's degree around my full time while doing a YouTube, which I'm doing now. Hopefully everyone's watching this video will give me a like, subscribe and comment, whatever. And then having a side hustle, which I'm quite eager to share with you guys, which is the Astri Age, my kind of game hosting businesses. On top of that, I'm also doing a kind of cloud consulting, helping the cloud journeys in a way that because they can't afford to pay a really huge grant how to do that in the right way so that I help them journey in the cloud more smoothly. 
anyway that's the end of the video i hope that this video kind of helped you because i realized that i rumble a lot but ultimately this is about why part-time soft engineering degree courses of bootcamp is actually beneficial ultimate point is that just do it do it part-time stay with your full-time job do it part-time prepare your portfolio just go for it you will make your life changing just like me 10 years ago 10 years now so that's it i'll see you guys next time in the next video peace